go. One leg gain. What a way to start, am I right? Rara Boom will knock your socks off every time. Even if you're yeah. not wearing socks. Hey y'all, my name is Leanna Rupert, and I am your illustrious host for this evening's Fresh Hibble Trails. I am very thrilled and very honored to be your guide through today's journey through women-led game studios and game companies as we explore the depths of incredible gaming experiences through this year's edition of Summer Game Fest Woman-Led Game Showcase. Slow clap. Slow clap. Before we jump right in, just wanted to take a quick second to say that absolutely none of this would be possible without the incredible work of two of our sponsors, Stray Fawn and Disobey, both of which we'll be learning a little bit further down in the showcase. We have a really exciting showcase for you today filled with exciting trailers and like the list of deep dives because we we love a good exclusive you know it's 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 a moment so without further ado and further Leanna ramblings let's dive in with our first of many adventures shall we imagine you suddenly found yourself transported back into a fictional 1990s rural India you're thrust into a tale of ambition a struggle, a friendship. Got you interested? Good. Let's dive in with the first adventure we have up today, Palace on the Hill. Palace on the Hill looks interesting. Saw it during uh, Cozy Games. Weave? Or Wholesome Games? I am absolutely here for it. Yes, holds the games. It's been a lot of games today. Packed into almost four hours, and I am in love with almost every single one of them. None of them gave me the creeps because I'm a giant wiener. And that's okay. Not every game is for everybody. I can play all the horror games and give me the willies. Angel, both of them. This looks absolutely fantastic. This is definitely a triple game. There has been a lot of triple games today. And yes, kids, women make video games. It's true. It's real. Accept it. And they're fucking good at it, too. This looks fantastic. My potatoes! your grace snowfall looks good yes please you can play some of the horror games for me angel did he build her with <laughs> with giant kaiju gods is it a delium? Yes, please. Just, just put it in my Steam library right now. Just, just put it in my Steam library right now. Yes, please. Is it multiplayer? 
the look at the little animations. Right? War snuffle up, I guess is. <laughs> okay. The gods died bombing the city. Sim City Bowser, what? The old farm. That was my nickname in high school. No, no, it really wasn't. Designed by a former chef, Sunnyside's cooking and food crafting systems are far more intricate than what you might be used to. That's what a farming game Sunnyside needs. Sunnyside uses a cooker, batch cooking system. This means that portions are realistic and your ingredients will go a lot further than you would expect. Okay. Cooking, fishing, farming. Yes, you have the my attention. The ingredients that you need can be found through a variety of the systems available in the game. Maybe items that you purchase, crops that you can grow. They may be harvested from animals. A milking rhythm game? All right. There are even ingredients for cooking that can be created through food crafting. Or what's, even prepared yourself what's to then behind be used all in the cooking, cooking. Though. Salad? Often just, across multiple appliances. As you can cook. What's the what's the goal of the cooking? Other than to make delicious cooking looking food that will make you hungry. But it isn't for everyone. If you have the money, you may prefer a hearty meal from a local restaurant. Maybe a quick bite at the convenience store? Or even just a snack from the vending machine can be enough to hit the spot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But for those curries. who are willing to tackle one of the most complex systems in Sunnyside, what awaits you is a progressive experience full of discovery. And cooking is just the point of it all? Which I have no problem with. I just... I, I would need motivation to cook that much. I mean, maybe that's just me. The really you gotta cool give me thing some about motivation games, to and I know I'm not alone in this, is that they are such an incredible medium for being able to fulfill our wildest fantasies and our most ambitious dreams. So while you're busy picturing that, picture this. You're a TV producer, okay? Yeah, big shot TV producer. And what's your thing you're producing? And scorching hot reality show where you have to find the most crush-worthy cast and it is up to you to make sure that you have the storyline. You have what it takes to keep voracious audiences captivated and you can stay on air while uncovering the most sinister secret behind this darkly comic third person shooter? Hey, I'm Nicole Key, and I am the creative director of The Crush House. Yeah, it's a farm. I am collaborating with Muriel on this project. They are a wonderful studio based out of the UK, and they have I, I guess previously they just worked really on the Rain series as well as Card Show. You play as Jay, system, who just got hired as the producer of 1999's hottest reality show, The Crush House. You basically have to do everything for the show. So you choose the cast, you film them fighting and kissing, you play ads to make money. And oh, this is absolutely a streaming show. House. But above or all, you have game. to figure out what the audience wants to see. Uh, I can see this lighting them, off big. Or else your show gets canceled. But not, you not that necessarily a game that I would play. And its cast but I could see a huge audience unusual. for this on so Twitch. So during the day, you have to maintain your duties to keep I mean, the show basically on that's air, what some people do when they play the Sims. Start to investigate the mysteries that lie beneath the surface. So we just announced the release date. It's going to be August 9th, 2024. 
But if you're interested in checking out the game beforehand, we actually just put out a demo on Steam so you could play it right now. And if you're interested in updates, please follow the Crush House on social media, and also please don't forget to wishlist the game. Thank you so much. The Crush House is crushing it as the country's number one reality show. And things are heating up this week. The insatiable fans, the beloved sponsors, face. and savvy network execs won't believe what's in store for our cast of potential lovers and haters. This big drama is better than what's happening the tension here. I mean, Priscilla and B finally boil over into an explosive confrontation. Into a steamy moment by the pool. Tuesday. Sometimes the fake drama makes more sense Io than the actual. The cast together Let's be honest. With a bopping saxophone performance. As Charlie brings the cast together with a bopping saxophone performance. Wednesday. Tune in Wednesday for the real fireworks when Charlie and Milo, Beer and Alex sneak off for a little moment of self-reflection. For a little romantic time in the garden. For a wild f fist fight. And by the end of the week, crowd favorite Emil, Priscilla, finally lets all their love and a little lust run free. Finally takes matters okay, into their the, own the, hands. The, the, the jumping around is throwing me off. I mean, I get it, but... That was... And then, at night, you go in the basement and discover all the bodies! Do not miss this week in the Crush House! When you find out that one of them is a serial killer! And now you have to figure out how to survive. I'm kidding. I have no idea. The truth. Duck the detective, truth I still need to get this mistress. game. But I ain't no ugly duckling. The demo was beautiful. Right, Matt? I'm the duck detective. I'm here to investigate a case. The Furby. Well. It's the Salami Bandit. <laughs> the Salami Bandit. Too far. At least this job should bring in a bit of cash. Case of the Secret Salami. Just frozen. <laughs> No, nobody search for Salami Bandit. No one do that. Do not listen to Matt. Okay, this looks adorable. <laughs> yes. My babies! Okay, I, I must play this game. Oh look, it's Waldo. You're pooping on people's heads. All right, I'm sold. Yep. Okay. As we reach yes, our halfway point, and wow, that went by really fast. We just wanted to take a quick, quick moment to offer our sincerest gratitude to two of our sponsors today. First, we have Strayfon, an independent studio that we love from Switzerland with a passionate Ben Dev studio that are experts in the craft of creating procedurally generated worlds and offering a vibrant life to just sink right into and disobey. An incredible woman-led marketing agency that stands out as a pillar in the gaming community because of their amazing focus around authenticity they and community building, and both of which are incredibly important, especially right now when everything's, you know, kind of on fire. These pillars are just the start of what makes this company no. such a unique voice within the current industry landscape. You're definitely going to want to make sure you stay in the loop with both of these incredible sponsors on socials to keep up with all of their incredible projects ongoing now. Speaking of staying in the loop, we love a good segue, folks. Let's immerse ourselves in the selection of narrative-based games, starting with a modern point-and-click adventure 
set within a neo-noir world. Let's check it out. I'm Eleanor Summers, the co-founder oh, of Telegram Studio, and it's my pleasure to present our mystery adventure game, Phoenix Springs. It's a point and click game yes, that follows a Yes, we've seen this game a couple of times Iris, this weekend. Whose investigation I still don't understand what's going on with it, but I'm here for it. Oasis. I've been drawing the illustrations and animations for the game for seven years, and developing the art style was one of the main challenges. This is a triple game. We always said that Phoenix Springs shouldn't look like anything else, which is how we ended up with a unique style that combines 3D and hand-drawn 2D. The game is set to release in September on Steam, and we can't wait for you to play it. When I finally find him, my brother makes me promise not to go to the Oasis. So, of course, it's where I end up. It is a beautiful place to explore. Life is slow. The air is clean. Secrets are kept. But should I stop looking for answers? I will never stop looking for answers. It's so weird, but in a good way. Got a cat detective. Justice in this town. Time for a cat dick. There's nothing like the rush of being on a case. All six of my nipples are tingling. <laughs> At any rate, this case <laughs> <seems like laughs> the body All six of my nipples are tingling. What is normal in this jungle city of ours? <laughs> Oh my god. Not a statement I thought I'd make today. Oh, this one looks really interesting. Or is it the same one? No, different one. Okay, there's two of them that somehow you impact your friends with your choices. This looks like a weird mat game. Solitaire? So, Solitaire and Tarot? No chingue tu palo. Eso solo puede significar una cosa. Se jodió el plan de agua prieta. Oh, saw this one earlier. Interesting as well. Lots of detective games. Una de las cosas más revolucionarias que pueden hacerse es proclamar ferozmente lo que sucede. Busca a Gregorio. Ahora sí estás en la boca del lobo. Ve por esa nota. Otros periodistas han abierto paso para ti para que pudieras llegar hasta aquí y ahora es tu turno. Sometimes we just need to relax after a long day of stresses, am I right? There's no shame. You're safe here. This is a safe place. You're good. So let's de-stress with the exploration of the world of mind-bending gaming experiences with a cozy 3D puzzle experience that will soothe with some unique diorama assembly mechanics all wrapped up in a visually stunning wooden package. There's a joke somewhere in there. We're just gonna roll right past that. I'm creating a cozy game with my friend. In this game you get to piece together charming little wooden dioramas. It's inspired by the classic childhood puzzles that I love so much. The one that gave me a sense of comfort okay, and kept this me engaged for hours in a peaceful state of mind. We want to reconnect with our younger selves, 
those days when we'd lie on the floor with a whole day ahead and no rush, no plans, no worries. We are rediscovering that sense of inner peace, piece by piece. Buddha. Okay. Well, I would not be at all surprised. Well, that sounds domestic. I'm leaving that one alone. does not surprise me. But, I mean, when you think about it, it makes sense. <laughs> exactly. There's no secret. Matt just likes to feed people. Matt loves Day. food, and Matt loves sharing food. I mean, Day. I get it. Have you ever looked forward to opening your eyes? Just as the same way. Because without her, I would probably forget to eat to all the time. You've been chasing? Because I do. to find it right in front of you. You see... Everything shines. Everything. When Left to my own device stars, for too long, I'd probably starve the to death. The stars <laughs> also gaze at you. Uh, or get close anyway. This looks they beautiful. They do not fade away just because you close your eyes. If I was on ADHD meds, I'd probably be more inclined to remember to eat. But at the same time, it would affect my appetite, so I probably wouldn't eat. So, you know, kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of thing. Oh, Bubblegum Galaxy. Yes, this one looks weird and interesting too. building shenanigans. <laughs> that's fucking game, right? That, that that house game is definitely a, a, a vibe all its own. 
we're here, we're at the final stretch with our closing lineup of games, and we are going out with a bang. Is that an excuse to use finger guns? You bet your sweet butt it is. We're going out with a bang, folks. Get ready for an adrenaline-fueled ride with games that pack a punch and ooze larger-than-life personality, starting with Abyss X Zero, a uh, gaming experience where you'll be challenged to command two you to legendary that one. I'm, I'm, heroes, I'm, each wielding not, unique uh, abilities, destined to clash no. in an epic, epic showdown and because of that heart pumping puzzle action and the fact that cardio is apparently good for you let's get that adrenaline pumping with a closer look at what abyss x zero has to offer hello yes. my name is tiani pixel and this i'm weird we're a studio pixel fantastic we're a looking homage to everything anime and 80s 90s next game, abyss cross zero. insanity abyss cross zero is a stylish 3d metroidvania with expressive low poly visuals in it you can explore an expensive world with carefully crafted dungeons and stylish combats you need to take control of two different characters fated to battle each other both legendary heroes with unique abilities that change how you fight and you interact with the environment. The game is heavily inspired by early 3D games from the PlayStation 1 and Nintendo 64, games like Mega Man Legends and The Legend of Zelda. Abyss Cry Zero is coming to PC and we hope to bring it to as many platforms as possible. We hope you enjoy it. Please wishlist it. Looks absolutely ridiculous, and I'm completely here for it. that weird claw game. Yes, building relationship. Future game show is about to start. I'm gonna jump over to that. This has been fantastic. Wooden lead games.